Hi, in this small demo, we'll learn about how to use SAP ABAP aggregate function with the new ABAP syntax. So the demo which I'm showing is like to display the employee in and out time from the attendance table using the aggregate function. So here the scenario is like we have an attendance table and for every employee there is a field called user ID. Now one employee can have whenever an employee come to office in the morning he has to scan the ID card and whenever he scan the ID card the one record is inserted into the database table with the date and time along with the user ID that is the employee ID. So whenever employee go out again he has to punch. So in the day there can be multiple in and out entry of an employee. But to show the attendance, we have to show the first record as a in time and the last record as the out time of the employee on that particular day. So here you can see for this employee 10031 on the 22nd of July, the in time is 9.48 in the morning. Then the second punch on the same day is 19.59 and third is 20. So here in this case, the first will come as the in time and the last will come as the out time. Similarly, if you see here on the 26th, the first time is 9.41 and the last time is 15.47. So we want to see this is in, this is out. If there are only two records, then no issue. So we'll create one single or very small program to achieve this requirement. So go to SC38 Z aggregate function. Let's say employ in and out time executable program and creating as local object. So here my table name is the custom table zhrms underscore attn. So here I will write the table as zhrms underscore attendance and I will create a small selection screen select option and first field I will select as the user id that is the employee id for zhrms underscore attend and second field will be my date that is for zhrms underscore attend z date and here it is user id okay so this is my selection screen this sort of selection End of selection. Let's try it perform. Let's say get and display. Double click here. Now, what is the requirement? I want to display the record user ID wise. Okay, so for one employee on, on a single date, only one record should be there. So for that my first field is select user id as I am using the new ABAP syntax so I have to separate the field using comma second field will be my z date now in third field I want the in time so here I am using as the minimum that is the lowest time of that day z time as in let's say in time let me check the field that is yes, z time and what I want I want another field as that is the max time of that particular day again the same field z time as let's say out time give a space here
okay so this will be as the out time from z hrms underscore at end into table at the rate data that is gt underscore time where my user id in always use the host variable which at the rest in s underscore user id and my time in uh, date in at the rate s underscore date now the one rule for using the aggregate function is with new web syntax is that all the field excluding the field on which we are performing the aggregate function that is the time the remaining field is user id in date those remaining field we have to add in the group by clause see here group by that is a user id and z date okay so those two field we have to add in the group field because we are not performing any aggregate operation on those two fields. So exclude the fields on which we are performing the aggregate function, we have to add the remaining fields in the group by. Now output I want in a sequence like user id comma z date. Okay. So I want employee wise and date wise. So check group by list must be separated by using commas let's add a comma here activate no error so let's display the output cl underscore demo underscore output equal to sign greater than here write display give your table name that is g t underscore that is time save check and activate okay so here I use the aggregate function the minimum and maximum let's execute so here from the table I'm entering this user ID initially and first I'm displaying the record only for the 2nd of July the my expectation is the in time should be 948 and the out time is 20 227 execute so here we can see the output is expected the in time is 948 and the out time is 20 so by this we can save a lot of time by making a loop and first sorting ascending descending now let's run for the some more days so here from 22nd so I'm running to 29 because on the 26th I want to check especially because here there are four records. So for the so user ID from 22nd I will be executing till the 29th of July 2019. Executes. Great. So here you can see the output. Now let's just go and cross check. The first we have already tested. So let's see the 26th. The first time it is showing as the 941 and the out time is 1547 uh, so here we can see on the 26th of July my in timing is 941 and on the same day the out time is 1547 let's check for the 29th of July 1022 and 1923 so here we can see it is 1022 and 1923 so in this way by using the new adapt syntax the aggregate function we can achieve this to comment in a simple and a short select query to display the employee in and out time so this is a very small demo on the aggregate function but this can be very useful if you know the concept and if you have the requirement of similar kind in HR SAP HR so you can write your select query like this using the new web syntax to show the in and out time using the new web syntax so you can see in a very simple and uh, just three lines of code we can select and also display the data
so in this way we then with this session thank you